Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get significantly more FPS out of Minecraft Bedrock when using RTX. Now I know the biggest thing that people have when they're using RTX in Minecraft is reduction in performance. Mainly because of the area that you're in, a lot of things loading. Um, especially when you're using lower end cards like an RTX 2060, 3050, or even a 3060. Uh, as you can see here, on the side, I have performance metrics turned on. I'm using an RTX 3060. Now, the problem with RTX is it is very resource intensive. It uses a lot of your graphics card. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you as an example. If we load into this world, I'm going to show you the frame rate that I get. This is going to be an average frame rate. We're going to be in a regular area of a world. The default render distance is 16 chunks, that is what I recommend everybody use, just because I feel like it's balanced enough that you can see enough without kind of nerfing your view distance. So once we load into this world, you'll see our frame rate on the side is basically 60. And if we turn around, it stays around 60. To some people this seems ideal, however, when you start moving around the world, you'll notice it drops below 60. Since I'm using a 3060, there will be people that have way low FPS than this, probably down in like the 50s or 40s. And this is with DLSS turned on. I'm not gonna go into what DLSS is, it's an upscaling technology. However, there is a way you can boost your FPS. Now the reason why the game is hovering around 60 and is dropping so significantly is because of a feature known as V-Sync. Um, V-Sync essentially is when your game's frame rate tries to sync up with the nearest possible refresh rate of your monitor. Especially if you're using a 60 hertz monitor, which is very typical for a lot of gamers, well budget gamers at least, your game is going to try to lock the game at 60 FPS. I have a 144 hertz display, so my game is going to try to lock it to the nearest, uh, I guess, best frame rate it can. The problem with V-Sync is it requires more power to synchronize every frame, and in turn can actually end up giving you input delay, higher input delay, and as you can see, more dropped frames. It's a pretty big problem, and this is why a lot of gamers recommend that if you're playing games on PC, you turn V-Sync off because it, it benefits you greatly. The problem with Minecraft is if we go into the settings, this setting normally isn't here, right? Now this is a setting that I manually enabled, um, but it's there. So I will teach you how to enable this. The reason I'm gonna have to teach you how to enable this is because typically people, other guides on YouTube can just tell you to go into the Minecraft data and go into the options file. And if you scroll down right here, you can actually enable and disable VSync by setting this between zero and one. Zero is VSync off, one is VSync on, and I think 2 is adaptive vsync, which doesn't really help either. Um, so, <laughs> the reason why I don't recommend doing it this way is because there is currently an issue with Minecraft where if you turn off vsync and you open the game or open a world, sometimes the game will just straight up freeze your entire PC for absolutely no reason. Now this doesn't happen with everyone. You could probably get away with doing this. It doesn't mess your PC up, but you might have to forcefully turn your PC off. I'm not going to demonstrate it because it would mess up the recording and I'd have to turn my entire PC off to do it. So, what I do recommend doing, just to be safe, is download a resource pack that adds this option by default. Now I do think that Minecraft is eventually adding this feature into Minecraft natively. Some people might already have it in their game, there's a way to enable it. I do not know of how to do that directly through the game. But we're going to be going to this website right here, which I have linked in the description below. And what we're going to do is scroll down 
This is basically an optimization pack that can help you get a lot of performance out of the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and click on this media fire link. And when you go open this, it's going to take you to this. And you can, it'll download, you download the file here. And when the file gets downloaded, you can actually open it and it will directly install in Minecraft. And when it's installed in Minecraft, you can actually go down here to your global resources. And you'll see it, Bedrock Demise. And what's going to happen? Oh, now it doesn't want to work. But once again, we're going to go in our settings. And now you can see that the vSync option wasn't there. So I was correct. The vSync option was only there because I had the uh, I had this enabled previously. So what we're going to do is go in here and click activate. Once it's activated, that's literally all you have to do. Make sure it's in your global resources on your main menu of your game, like this. And then when you go back, your game is going to look a little different. This can be a little annoying, I guess, because it's new. I mean, you'll have to get used to everything, but this is a way to manually add VSync, and it does organize your settings in a better way. I don't, I'm not sponsoring this or anything, this is just, I don't even necessarily prefer this, but it does give you a wide variety of options, such as Texel Anti-Aliasing, which basically smoothens out the pixels on the blocks. Then you go into Advanced, and you'll see that you have all sorts of stuff that you didn't have before, frame rate limits. If you go down, you'll see there's a VSync option. If you click it, you can turn it off. Now this is important. We're going to keep it on. I'm going to restart my game just to be safe because sometimes if you disable it while you're in that menu and you turn VSync back on, it won't actually cut it back on. So we're going to go into the world and I'm going to show you the frame rate we get again. Just, just, just as a one last time comparison. I'm going to show you the frame rate. So now that we're in, once again, like I said, ignore the message at the top. Wow, look at the frame rate now. Holy. 45 FPS. What is going on? This is worse than it was before. So now what we're going to do, like I said before, is go into your advanced settings. My frame rate could be lower because of this pack. It also could be lower because of uh, me recording, but we're gonna turn VSync off. And notice how it made the frame rate jump up by 20. Now, obviously, if I wasn't recording, there'd be a much bigger significance in the frame rate. Um, typically, right now, without recording, I'd be getting 64 FPS and if I were to disable it I would go up to probably around a hundred FPS Like I said the only reason it's probably doing this Is because that I'm recording And there's probably something in this pack that Changes graphics if we go in here you can clearly see that there's All sorts of stuff you can mess around with I wouldn't mess around with stuff that you don't know what it is. But here you go, you have a whole bunch of stuff. You can even turn, you see if you turn VSync back on, it doesn't, you don't see a, a difference because once it's off, it's off. So, yeah, that is basically the easiest way to enable VSync disable it and get significantly higher FPS. Like I said, you will see a more significant result because you won't be recording. Recording does use quite a bit of, you know, PC power. As you can see, my graphics card is like almost fully maxed out and it's pulling a lot of power. Uh, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll, uh, in the video right after this I will link you actual real-time results when I'm not recording so I'll give you a comparison between not having VSync turned on and having VSync turned on it's gonna be more significant than this video so just keep an eye out and yeah that's pretty much it like it's that's pretty basic it's just one single setting I do just to be on the safe side I would recommend disabling VSync 
from the settings whenever you close the game just in case unless you don't have the freezing problem if your pc doesn't freeze then that's good for you that's good to, you're good to go but if you want more for fps on a lower end rtx card or even if you're using a higher end card and you want to just kind of unleash your card's potential this is the way to do it so, uh, thank you for watching and i hope you guys enjoy minecraft rtx with more frames now